Welcome to the Nightly Rant with your hosts, Mike and Toria. This is the show where we examine society from a sarcastic point of view. If you like insane conversations, this is definitely the show for you. Let's get into today's topic. YPN people, I don't know about you, but I love helping out a friend. That's why I want to shout out my friend Brian Little and his podcast, Your Favorite Blockhead. This is the only show that manages to weave together peanuts and MMA into one heck of an amazing podcast. You can find your favorite blockhead wherever your favorite podcasts reside and at yourfavoriteblockhead.com. Do me a huge favor and listen to Brian's show. You'll be entertained and you'll help out a friend. Now, as I said, let's get into today's topic. So I guess tonight we're going to do another one of our infamous Am I the Asshole segments. Is that correct? This is correct. Good, sir. So what I want to know is, before we get into it, is tell the audience how you select these suckers. Because you're the one that selects them. I select them either based on their what the fuck factor or the overall hilariousness that I think the situation is. And you don't talk to me about it, right? At all. It just comes from you. It has so far, but we agreed, want it to be. we agreed that sometimes you would find them and then we'll you would always, read them only, to me. only one of us will know. Yes. See, what I want people to pay attention to when we do these Am I the Assholes is how well we know each other. Like how well we pick things that we know the other person's going to either rant about, have something funny to say about, completely agree with, something. We will know what the answer is. Before putting the question out there, I want you to pay attention to that. So, without any further uh, time wasting, go to the Reddit. All right. I'm not going to read you the title because I think it just gives away the story. I'm just going to read you the story. Okay. A few nights ago, my wife and I were woken up by the neighbors in the apartment above ours very explicitly and loudly trying to expand their family. They must have been going at it for an hour, and it was fairly frustrating as I had worked the next day. After they were done, I played a loud applause track through my Bluetooth speaker held up to the ceiling to try to make them aware of the relative thinness of the floor. Uh I found out today that they have reported me to management for harassment. So, Reddit, am I the asshole? Yes. Why? You are the asshole. Because... People having sex is something that happens naturally. They're not going to not have sex because you have to go to work the next day. But you purposely embarrassing them by putting applause track up to the ceiling is harassing them. You're basically trying to say, hey, I heard you, so that they don't do it again. So why should you get to say when they get to have sex? <laughs> no. Uh-uh. All right. Not happening. No! I actually think there's not an asshole in this situation. Okay, I could go with that too. If you said the other person was the asshole, I would have to kill you. Like, that, that'd be it. We'd be done with this show. Because there's no way we'd come back from that. There's also the possibility that they're both assholes. Which would you like first? I mean, put it to you this way. The only thing I see is not possible is... That the couple having sex is not the, the only asshole. assholes. Or the only assholes. Okay. That's the only thing I see as not possible. Because I believe that if you can say, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that both of them are not assholes, you could also conversely prove that both of them are assholes. Right. Which the do you want first? That, the only thing that you have to have, like, good, solid, evidentiary facts for is an individual to be an asshole. And I've given you my reason why putting a... You know, he, it isn't natural to put your speaker with clapping at, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning at the ceiling. That's not natural. But banging your wife or girlfriend at 2 o'clock in the morning, very natural. So okay. you can't possibly tell me that that's the asshole. Which so, one do you want? So go with uh, why they're both not an asshole first. Because it's completely okay to have sex, and it's completely okay to harass your neighbors. But if you're going to harass your neighbors, you should just own it. And respect the fact that they might re- report you to the management. I think it's just a natural cycle of things. Dude decided to turn it into a big old joke. And he did his thing. And 
he should know that there's a possibility that they might take that the wrong way and either come down and stab him in the throat or report him to management, which is the much less violent way to handle it. I figured out something flawed about myself, and this situation is the perfect example of it. What? Okay. And I've been working on this and working on this and working on this, and clearly I haven't gotten it yet. I've been working on it. <laughs> I have a bad habit, okay? Yes. Am I open-minded and do I listen to what other people have to say? Would you say I listen to what other people have to say? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. But the problem is that if I've looked at something and I've decided 100% that it's this way and I get angry at the other person because that they were this bad and then someone else comes along and says, well, but have you thought about this? Well, no, I didn't really think about that. Okay, you're right. Maybe, maybe it was an accident on their part. But I'm still just as angry with them as I would have been if it was my way. I'm still just as pissed. And I say to myself all the time, why are you just as pissed? It's like, it's like this situation, okay? <laughs> I take the guy putting the speaker up there as he harassed them, and they complained about harassment. So he should just shut the fuck up because... He harassed them. You took it as, well, that doesn't really make him an asshole. What, what, makes, what would make him an asshole is if he didn't ultimately own up to the fact that, yes, it was harassment. So you gave, him, you gave him an out, okay? Right. I think what's interesting, and it's a flaw of mine. I feel it's a flaw of mine. Mainly because I am so in the minority a lot of the times on decisions like this. <laughs> That, no, like seriously, I'm so in the minority that I know I'm a fringe group and I can't, I don't want to be a fringe group. At least I want to understand, and put it to you this way, I want to understand what the other side's thinking and maybe I'll change to that side, maybe. But it has to be super reasonable and understandable to me. If I have any <laughs> doubt at all, even 0.1%, I'm not switching. I'm sticking to what I already thought through. It's just my way. You have to think it through all the way before you make the decision. Okay, now let me tell you why they're both the asshole. But, but hold on. Let me, finish, um, let me finish what I was saying. Okay. I am incapable of changing. So, like, here I am. He's an asshole. He, he put the thing up there, and then you say to me, well, but as long as he owns the fact that he harassed them. That he's not an asshole. Then he's not an asshole. And I'm going, well, well, you're right. But he's still such a jerk for harassing them and blah, 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 blah. But then I think about it another way. He hasn't admitted yet that he harassed them. He's upset because they f complained about harassment. He didn't say, admit to harassing them. Right. So until he admits to be harassing them, he is the asshole, 100%. Until he has to admit it. So you've just eliminated the possibility that they can both not be assholes. Because he is always give us the enough asshole. information. He's always, come on. He, he didn't say in his response that he did X. He just ignored it. He's going to say he did it as a joke because he did. And when he has to go to management, he's going to apologize to those people. Okay. So and that's he's going to own that he made a mistake and he's going to apologize to them because he really doesn't want the drama. That's what I think would happen. That's what I think most normal people would do in the situation. And, and my further flawed situation is that I would take that and I would and I'd be like, it doesn't matter if you were joking or not. You said it. Done. Done with you. I don't want to talk to you about it. Uh, you're just making excuses. Because I'm so used to people lying right. that I try to, like, preemptively strike. But here's why that's a flaw. What if he really was just joking and he didn't mean it? I was then, you're say pissed, then you're pissed off about something that he never even intended to, to have come off that way. He's this, on your side. This is something I would do without even thinking that there might be consequences or somebody might be so offended that I could actually get in trouble. My downstairs neighbors used to fuck so loudly when they would come home from the bar. I would be awake for hours. And I would passive-aggressively stomp so that they know I was awake. And it's 3 a.m., so they know totally what caused it. I totally doing that. But if I would have had the technology to play a laugh track or an applause track down my bedroom vent, I would have done it you without what, a though? thought, without you know a what, second though? thought. And you know I'm what, not though? an asshole. All you the know what's really interesting? While I'm not <laughs> willing to, like, give in on these things, and I should, okay? like You don't have to. But I should. In some circumstances, right. I definitely should. The facts are there. 
Right. Okay. Like like the whole incident yesterday with our operations manager and that whole discussion. Uh-huh. It, it just, I was like, you know what? I don't agree with what she's saying, but I could see that what she's saying could be what happened. So since I can see that, and since she is being passionate and arguing in favor of that, <laughs> what have I got to lose? I mean, really, what do I have to lose right. by accepting that that's what happened? Right. Because if further down the line we get further proof, which further proof always comes up when, it's, when someone's lying, uh-huh. okay? So further down the line, more proof will come up. Then you can be like, well, I tried to tell you back then. Now this time we're doing it my way. You know, and it's just, it's simple, right? But you hope that that never happens. That's what you're really hoping for, right? Right. Because you want your manager person to be empowered to do whatever they need to do. And so you got to back their their ass on stuff like this. So that's why I have to learn this because I'm listening to another person's perspective. I'm seeing their perspective as being possible, but I'm still leaning on my initial assessment, which was, that was so fucking stupid, and it's not right to do that because if I adjusted how I look at the situation, I also have to adjust the outcome of from what I how I looked at the situation. Right. And I'm not doing that. So, you know, I'm changing one number in the formula and I'm not updating the total, which clearly never, ever, ever works. Okay, man. We gotta bring it back. So but but, 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 but that's but it's not a tangent because the reality is it shows the flaw in me. I see him as an asshole. Then you say, well, he's not really an asshole. So then why am I still mad at him if I believe he's not an asshole? If he's not an asshole, I shouldn't be mad at him. And I want to smack myself because I know I do this. And I keep saying to myself, you need to fix that. You need to fix that. You're going to fix that. The very next time that happens, you're going to react like a calm person. And then what do I do? I act like I'm acting right now, like a fucking lunatic. And I'm all pissed off about it. Why? Why am I so pissed off about it? Let me validate your feelings. (sighs) So there you go. That's why that bothers me. Sorry, but you guys needed to hear that. That was It is the nightly rant, and that was my nightly rant. Okay. So now I have two more more. points to make. Now I have two more points to make. Okay. Cool. cool, My first point is why they're both assholes. It is a pretty dick move to decide to embarrass somebody so much that you play an applause track after their hour of ruckus lovemaking. It's a dick move. Like, and I just said I would do this to someone. <laughs> you did. That's and I laughing. fully admit that it's a dick I'm move. I'm picturing you in your dick costume. It is also equally a dick move to report somebody to the management for harassment after you know you could have just kept them awake for an hour <laughs> and all they did was you know embarrass what? you a little. You know what? Get the fuck over it. You know what? That's a perspective I completely 100% didn't see. And you know why? Because I was 100% focused on the sex act being what caused him to play the speaker. And he played the speaker because of the sex act. So it was the sex act that started the whole thing. I never once shifted it down a step on their side to when they went and complained to management. Because you're right. No matter how you slice it, that's a dick move. Come on. Now. Even if the other guy was being a supreme dick by playing the clapping, you know you were banging for an hour. And you know he knows you were banging for an hour because he played applause. But here's the thing. Nobody else heard the applause but you and the woman you're having sex with and him and his significant other. That's it. So guess what? You don't get to be embarrassed. Right. I you don't. weren't embarrassed while you were banging away, making all the noise, letting the whole world know you were fucking. Right. Nobody, nobody was embarrassed then. Sorry, I'm very ranty tonight. Apparently. What if it was like a 10-year-old sleeping underneath those people? Like, Okay, you have different to story. Think. Different you have story. to think before you have loud, aggressive lovemaking. Or well, make I, any kind of loud, aggressive noise. You know you're what? You're having a I party completely, in your living room. You're watching a I really completely loud agree. movie. I completely agree. I think that if people are the type that wake up like at three in the morning and have sex. That's great. More power to them. Okay. Great for you. But no one else is in your apartment or your house or whatever. It can be a little bit louder than normal. 
but you got to be quiet enough that it's not traveling outside and you know to the next door neighbor and if if it's loud enough that someone in your apartment could hear it but only someone in your apartment could hear it well then who cares there's no one home be loud you know how i said the dude with the speaker needs to realize that he has to just accept the consequences for his yeah. rash decision Same well i people. think that the consequence of them having that loud baby making time for an hour in the middle of the night was a slight embarrassment if you're gonna have yeah, sex that loud living is. in an apartment building well that's what i'm saying that's exactly Sorry. what i'm that's exactly what i'm saying if you're gonna be so loud that everyone can hear then don't be so butthurt when someone kind of embarrasses you a little bit and, and let's be real playing it playing the applause is humorous i would laugh I think at it's that hilarious. If, okay be real if that was you and me and all of a sudden we heard applause we would be embarrassed but we would laugh so hard and we would and it would be one of those things that like if it was on let's say a friday night all weekend we'd look at each other and all of a sudden just start laughing it's one of yeah. those hilarious moments like right. it really is right and so i don't understand why you would then report them for harassment like if it if if every night after that they played the applause or they recorded your sounds and played it back to you every night, that's harassment. I agree. Then report. I them. think it has to be repeated before you go to the reporting. Well, yeah, and the whole one time thing, you you have to think. Just it really was right of me to think the other way, because the reality is the sex act is what started it all. So, in the end, they shouldn't have gotten upset. That guy probably should have controlled himself better. They were both wrong. Right. Negative the cancels out is, negative. The question is, were they both wrong enough to be assholes? And I actually think no. I think neither of them are assholes. Is huh. It's debatable. Probably. Anyway, my second point is much more hilarious. The first comment on this. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not the asshole. I think I would have done the same thing. While the other half would have been doing his best Mortal Kombat finish him impression at the top of his lungs. Either that or making noises to join in with them. Smiley face. You know what? That's so funny. You damn well know that if we were the ones who were woke up by that, that I'd be making moany, groany <laughs> sounds back. You <laughs> damn well know I would. You know that is 100% me. I've been sitting here thinking it the whole time and not saying it. And then I hear that comment and I'm like, she's right. I would be. And you'd be, you'd either be telling me to shush or you'd be joining in. It would totally depend on your mood. Like it, it is 100% your mood. Depending on your mood, you're, you're with me in the craziness or you're not. But the best part about you is you won't force me to stop. You'll... If you have, if it's really bothering you, you'll explain to me that it's really bothering you. So can you please stop? And of course, I will stop right. out of respect for you. But if it's just something that, you know, I'd prefer you not do that, but it's okay if you do. I'm not going to die from it. Then I get to make the choice, right? How much fun am I having? Right. You know, how disrespectful would it be to you? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you add it all up and you go, all right, bro, you know, you're. You're going to keep doing it for a little while because it's fun. Or I, maybe you should stop right now. Whatever. I kept reading down the comments. More comments. <laughs> Kick down the door and shout, Player 3 has entered the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a really good one. That one. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine if you were those people <laughs> and all of a sudden, Player 3 has entered the game. Can you imagine? Play the little, like, um, Star, Star Trek um, beam me up sound. Ooh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's the coolest sound still from the 60s till today. Those two comments were the best two comments? Yes. <laughs> yes, they certainly were. They were, they were um, well thought out. Yeah. <laughs> Mic drop moments. <laughs> Mic drop moments. That's what that is. You know is. what? You know what? Nothing else either one of us has to say could be better than that last comment I read. So on that note, good night, everyone. Hasta la bye bye. Thank you for listening to the Nightly Rant. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a five star rating on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. If you didn't enjoy the show, please just ignore that previous request for a rating. This has been a Yogi's Podcast Network production.